Hi, Gemini. Let's see what is showing up for you at this time. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Overall energy, Gemini, is the Six of Pentacles. You have the Strength card, the Page of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Careful of doing anything for anyone, you know, like if you don't want to, even if they pay you. Like this could be a work thing or a friend thing. Someone's like, hey, can you do this for me? And then it looks like you're going to be overwhelmed. Also got the name Vicky when I turned on the, the uh, camera. So I don't know if someone has a V name or a Vicky name or something, but okay. It could be a Leo, but I just kind of feel like you may be, yeah, stressed out if you take on too much. It could be someone wanting to come back also from the past. You may have a Leo that's specifically, you know, important in your life. Um, someone can be reaching out also that you aren't expecting to hear from. And you may at first be kind of worried about what it is they want, but it could turn out really good with the sun. What is the sun? Two of swords and the king of wands. It definitely could be an Aries Leo Sag, but someone could help you out. I get like if you need help moving something or, you know, fixing something, they could be coming over and helping you. Also, can I get like maybe you're having an issue with another person and they come in and help sort things out for you and help you. This could also be like a lawyer or somebody you're hiring as well to help you with a case or something like that. But what is the Six of Cups? Something in the past may have also um, like gone wrong or something. There's arguing here in the past, but yeah, it looks like it's going to get sorted out. Something's coming toward you that makes you happy. Under the deck is the moon. Pisces energy. We have an earth sign under here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I do get messages from somebody, page of cups and the eight of wands. Something that maybe you don't really expect. Something that may have happened in July or look back towards Pisces season as well. Um, this person, of course, could be a Pisces, but I guess someone could be uh, communicating with you, to you or with you, however you want to say it, out of the blue. So maybe you're going to have two choices in love as well. So you have an earth sign here and a fire sign. So some of you, again, there could be an ex that comes back. And then you might also have another ex or meet somebody new or have, you know, a king of pentacles here as well that you're talking to. I kind of feel like you like one more than the other. I feel like, like there's a sure winner, Gemini, if that is the case. Also, when I get um, something for your work you do work and you feel very weighed down right now or have a heavy load or something like that I feel like things are going to work out and get better or get easier um, also you may switch bosses or you may switch teams or you may switch something around that also works to your benefit Gemini this kind of looks like a friend vibe you could run into somebody over the weekend as well if you're out like you could be out with one person and run into another one but I feel like Oktoberfest, I don't know if it feels, the feeling in your readings like Oktoberfest is coming, drinking, having a good time. Uh, all right, so you have, you're on the road to success. Successfully overcoming a problem. So you have two cards here of that being overcoming something, and you can see that here. So whether this is like a personal problem, a work problem, a love problem, a home issue, whatever it is, you are going to be doing well very soon. I get things like getting along, people getting along better. So you have good news, and I said that. I see good news in your reading. Got the Nine of Cups here, you got a Page of Wands, Page of Swords, a lot of cups. I'm, I'm sorry, a lot of pages. And you have Eagle, Triumph over Troubles. Wow, you guys have a good reading. So it feels like maybe there's something that has completed. Also, maybe there's a decision made, there's an announcement. Uh, somebody is like finding out if they won or not is also kind of what I'm getting. Truth be told, a deep knowing truth be told. I also get for some of you, you have like an ex or someone coming back to you that you like really like this person. Like that is the one you want. You wanted that one. So you're getting the person or situation, whatever it is that you wanted. That makes sense. Like truth be told, you know who you really want or what you want or the job you want. Someone also could give you like if it's work, a good review. Or if it's, you know, something else, someone may like have some positive feedback for you as well coming up here. So maybe you're dealing with a twin flame or a very deep, strong soul connection with somebody here. And you can see that there's um, definitely a couple people here. Twin flame, counterpart connection. You 
learn the lesson. So yeah, there's something like overcoming a lesson, learning something, moving forward. Use your intuition in a situation. Some of you could date um, someone also. Like if you are starting to go out online and date, you may have some options, but you may not be, again, super happy. There may be an earth sign who you're not like super into. But again, I get like this king of wands as somebody you know who comes back from the past who just really cheers you up, who really makes you happy. Somebody you may have had a mascot that was an eagle. I also get like the Mustangs or a warrior or something as well. <clears throat> I'm not sure why they're bringing that up, but okay. What else does Gemini need to know, Spirit? Is there anything else for Gemini? I'm going to grab one of these for you. What is Gemini's message? You have the card of unique unicorns. Wow, it says resilience, creativity, and uniqueness. An inborn tendency for creativity, finding your creative passion. So that may be really important for some of you. That didn't feel like it came up in the reading unless it was like passion around a, a relationship. But some of you need to know that you're very unique. You're like a unicorn, you're one of a kind. And you're very creative. You could use that for a lot of different things in a lot of different ways. So I'm gonna leave it there, Gemini. Have a great weekend.